Flight delays and cancellations, lost baggage, and people sleeping on airport floors. There have been horrific stories in the media that have been unacceptable. The federal transport minister acknowledges the situation at some Canadian airports this summer has been rough. Does the minister believe that the government bears any responsibility? In Omar El Gabra was grilled by MPs about the federal government's response to protect passengers. Your government brought in with great fanfare the passenger Air Passenger Bill of Rights, or the APPR, which was supposed to have air passengers' backs. Now, can you tell me with a straight face that those regulations have protected air passengers over the past year? Earlier this summer, more than half of the flights out of Toronto Pearson Airport were late. For a time, the world's worst for delays, according to flight tracking company FlightAware. As of this week, it's still the world's second worst. We know that travel has not been easy for passengers. Government and industry players say things are getting better, but some critics say the chaos could have been avoided. It's not an industry where you can click the light off. In January 2021, Tim Perry warned the Federal Transport Committee that the government needed a plan. I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. He says a lot of staff laid off early in the pandemic never came back. Hiring is happening, but in a complex industry, staffing up takes time. I think now people realize that this is a significant issue and it has everybody's attention. For travelers like Jordan Canner, who got caught up in the chaos, there's been little recourse. She just said, I don't know, pilot didn't show up. And that was it. He lost a day of his vacation because of a cancelled flight. But his complaints to the airline and compensation claims to the Canadian Transportation Agency have gone unanswered. Feels like a bit of a stretch to, to blame everything on, on COVID or, you know, the, the extra travel that's been going on. They, it feels like they should have been better prepared. And Paige, there was also talk at today's meeting about the Arrive Can app with the Transport Minister facing criticism over that. That's right, Ian. Opposition MPs put it to the minister today that ArriveCan is causing delays at security. And there were also accusations that it's glitchy and that there have been privacy concerns. Some are calling for it to be scrapped, but the minister was very clear. He thinks the app is making travel less complicated, and he defended Canada continuing to use it. Earlier this summer, the government said the ArriveCan app will remain in use until at least September 30th. All right, Paige, thank you.